hello everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new then welcome and also if you're from Maxine's channel welcome to my channel I hope you stick around for more now it's Thursday and I usually go to Aldi on a Thursday but we didn't go today I usually go with my mum and my stepdad but excuse me got panty panty son in the back here he's been playing with his dad Matthew's gonna be um chatting and walking behind me quite a lot because it's just sorting out the dining room but oh, anyway yeah um my stepdad is doing a golf tournament today so um we haven't gone well, I, I haven't gone with my mum and stepdad but anyway enough that went with Matthew decided to go to Morrison's was only meant to get the stuff to make dinner tonight because Marcus is coming around and he's requested fajitas and I said I'll do some nachos as well with like cheese and guacamole and sour cream, salsa, all that. So that's what um, I got. But then I decided that we were basically going to do a full shop. And Matthew also got loads of stuff to make beef jerky. And my mum asked if I could get her a few bits as well because obviously she won't go shopping today. So I'm going to start rabbiting on. I'm going to show you what I got. And it wasn't cheap. I'll tell you at the end how much I spent, but it was uh, it was a bloody fortune. So I'm going to start off with my chilled bag. I did take my Aldi and Lidl bags with me, which I always use every week. So I'll do the chilled bag first, like I normally do, and I can whack it in the fridge. First bag, and it's a heavy one. Mm. I don't know what's on the bottom of that. Smell something up there. Oh, I can smell the strawberries. Let's get these up first. So, I did pick up some strawberries first in the fruit section, and then I went to the fridge section, and they had loads of um, offers on. And then I seen this big pack of strawberries, which actually look better than the ones I picked up. So these have got the twenty second on, which is today. So we'll eat them today with some like cream or something. Um, and the ones I picked up from the fruit section were the 24th. They were like, I think they were 250, and this big pack was 224. Bargain. I've got a big pack of chicken breast fillets because we're having fajitas tonight, so I won't use all of them. I'll probably just use the three and then keep one for Rocky. Got a pack of cherries. And another pack of cherries because we do love cherries this time of year. Got some Almly double cream. I didn't actually have any normal double cream, so um it's still brand of cream with a flappy lid. If you don't know, I'll quickly explain. I call it brand of cream because I've got a subscriber that is from America. And she asked once why do we have this silly foil lid and um yeah. I don't know why, because we used to have those plastic lids on the top. We don't anymore, so I've bought like these stretchy ones that I sometimes remember to use, but I don't really use them a lot of the time. But yeah, I just call it the Brenda Cream now. That's my little explanation. I've got some Kelly's Crafted in Cornwall Dairy Vanilla Ice Cream. And this is to go with pudding, which can't find any out it's probably in another bag i've got some epics we actually got two boxes of epics and these are really like the um what are the ones called from aldi um I'm not sure i thought they were epics as well i don't think they are called epics i not i don't think they're allowed to call them the same thing are they um but yeah they're, they're just like the dupes of fabs and they're actually better than fabs because they're made with real fruit puree and fabs oh, are definitely God. not. What have you done? Not me, him. He pulled the whole basket of toys down so he can get in it. <laughs> Put them up. Oh, come here, Nad. Can't you, Ben? No, it's busy there. Right. Can't you take that basket in the... That bit right. I'll just take all of his stuff around there. And then we can sort that out after. He's literally just pulled his basket of toys down. So annoying. Well, I'm just going to quickly show you the next freezer thing before I put it in the freezer because it is defrosting. These are the McCain Flavour Maker Fries 
takeaway style salt and pepper. Now I've got the McCain ones because they did have these in the uh, Morrison's ones and these were actually cheaper. These are £2.50 and it's a bigger bag so that's the reason why I've got the branded ones. So I'm just going to quickly pop these in the freezer because I don't think I've got anything else in the freezer. Oh, the ice creams as well. Let me whack them in the freezer. got next just got a little pack of steak mints um this is just the five percent fat one 250 grams because marcus is coming around tonight i thought we could just have some olives on the table these are chili and garlic olives and matthew and marcus really like these i wish i liked olives but i can't stand on and i really wish i liked them because they're such a healthy snack it is pretty annoying um, I've got some British chicken livers. Now, I got these for Rocky. Um, it's been really off his dog food uh, recently. I bought, I, I get him the tails ones, and I, you know, they're in the single individual tins, and you know, you really like the gravy and the jelly ones. Now, he literally just he doesn't want any of it. So, I thought some chicken, maybe a little bit of chicken breast, some chicken livers, and some. Um, Maybe put some peas in it or some broccoli and just like chop all the veg down really small and then, you know, hopefully he will like that. So, yeah, I just bought an extra pack of two chicken breasts as well for Rocky. I've got some cheeses. Matthew likes his crackers and cheese, so I've got him a Clawson Reserve Blue Stilton. And I've got him a Thomas Somerset Brie. Right, just bear with me, Marcus. Is on. Okay, Marcus just rang, but then Matthew found this on the table and he just had a go of it. I can do it. Do you know what? He got, he got it straight away. I, can't, I, I cannot figure it out. I swear to God, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I had it up here. He had it down there, but they said to have it there. See if you can do it there. Oh, just, Mr. Skinny Malinky, did he? Has it round his waist? On his hips. Go on, then do it. Oh, but anyway, the reason why I was laughing is because he stopped it and it went straight into his balls. <laughs> and it's it's a heavy bit of kit, this is. Skills. Look, you can do it. I, I, I mean, if you've watched this video, it's mine. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have a go after. Oh. I need to get this, this food out of the way because it's like a, a sticky mess in this bloody kitchen. It's so hot. Right, anyway. You can carry on. But he's... he's you're still sorting that out. Marcus hasn't come around now, bless him. Oh, well, hold on. Yeah, he's, coming around, off. he's coming around tomorrow. How'd you get off? Yeah. <laughs> he's panicking. Well, again, it's, um... Oh, <laughs> it's stuck on forever now. I've been caught later. <laughs> Look at that one there. That one no, there. no, it was the white one that I, took it, or I put it on. That's a that's the emergency release, though, I think, isn't it? Yeah, you can, you can do any of them. They should all open. <laughs> Panic mode. Uh, is there extra? Can you put extra ones in? Like, yeah, I've, take got, them out? I've got extra. You know that box I've got upstairs to go in the attic? That's yeah. got the extra ones in it, which I'll probably need. If I pull it round my waist, I'm probably going to need them all on because I'm chunky round well, here. that's like your ankle, isn't it? <laughs> I probably wouldn't be able to get it round then now. It's a good few weeks. This is toilet. pretty heavy as well. Like. It's full of sand and it's rubber as well. Right, let's get this done because it's 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 sweating. Do it. So, I picked up the best all but out sticky toffee pudding. So, yeah, we're meant to be having this tonight. We'll be having it tomorrow now because um, Marcus wants to come round tomorrow instead. But it's fine. Everything will keep. Uh, Matthew picked up some pineapple chunks. Nice healthy snack. And we'll dig into them in a bit, they look good. I've got my usual Piccolo tomatoes because these are the best tomatoes in the world. Uh, for the fajitas, I always use one red pepper and two green peppers. So I've got them individually because you, you can never get, the, the packs of three never have two green peppers in. And I know there's probably 80% of the um, people watching this video can't stand green peppers. We like them in this house, so um, yeah, two green peppers in the fajitas. I've also got the mozzarella and cheddar grated 
mould and creamy cheese to go on the nachos because Marcus is a bit funny about cheese so um, it has to be my own cheese. You can't go with like mature cheddar or anything. Got some British sour cream that's also for the fajitas and then I might make a chilli or something with the, the mints in the wheat. Right, this is for Matthew's beef jerky. He's got... Got. He's gone for British beef sandwich steak and he's bought three packs. So that one's got three in it. That one's got four in it. Hold on a minute, I need to see. Oh! Bless you. Oh, hey, Fever. Thank you. And that one's got four. Thank you, Bob. Sorry. That's got four in it as well. So, yeah, he's there's a setting on our air fryer that's, um, what's it, a de dehydrator? Yeah, dehydration, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's making beef jerky, so they've got all the ingredients to do it. So just gonna whack this in the fridge a minute until you you probably wanna do that in a bit. Um and then I've got a pack of chicken thighs, um, some for Rocky and then some to make I could make a uh, chicken pie or a um curry. Yeah, I've got some of them as well. Right, I'm going to quickly whack away this um, fridge stuff and then I'll be back with the two of the bags because this shopping haul is getting long. Right, next bag. So, this bag we have got a large box of crunch nut cornflakes. It's not the, the mega big one, it's the 500 gram one. £3.30. I know, I'm not saying nothing. Got some Febreze. This is the Fabric Freshener Fights Pet Odors. So, um, yeah, I just I, sometimes I can smell it like, on my sofa and stuff. And if I can smell it, I know that other people are going to smell it. they make it a bit dirty. Um, I needed some fabric softener, so I've gone for this Comfort um, Sunny, Sunny, Sunshiny Days. It says it just 33 washes. Now I have started using the cap on the top, but sometimes, like if I'm doing like Rocky's blankets or the bed sheets or something, I do add a little bit more in, or the towels, because I'll have some extra soft and smelly. So, got them smelly, meaning good smelly, not bad smelly. Um, instead of Coca-Cola Zero, I've gone for Fanta Lemon this week. That was the same price, 1.99. Uh, Matthew picked up some pineapple juice, two of them. Is this to marinate the beef? Yeah. Marinade is uh, jerky. It's, it's uh, going to be sweet and no, spicy. Nice. Looking forward to trying this. Um, it's gone for some premium dark soy sauce. Yummies. Um, I got some more ground cumin because um, I do my own spices on my fajitas and I, I couldn't remember whether we had um the right amount of cumin so yeah i, I do use plenty of this i've got some more of that and then matthew picked up this massive bag how much was this bag of um chili flakes chili flakes one pound 79 not bad really is it look at that it's a 200 gram bag we do we do use these chili flakes quite a lot and i think the little glass jar one was about that price as well yeah look that's how much we've got so you were right to get them look and that big bag was from the uh, World Isle. Yeah, the World Food Isle. Oh, uh, not bad. Um, I've got Rocky some mini bones by Bakers. He's had these before. These are the uh, chicken flavour with no raw hide. Go on, look in them. I find it. Where, where is it? Not in that one. What's this one? What about this one? Is it in that one? Was it in this one? Look in there, look. Oh, what's that one? Where is it? Look! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look! A McDonald's slice! When I make tortillas, um, you and Marcus prefer this size one, don't you? They're just easier just to hold the mini wraps. So because it's four of us and Marcus, Matthew and Kelsey, like a few of these, I've got two packs. So you get eight in a pack. So I'll probably have one or two of them and they'll have the rest. Um, so that's it for that bag. We've got one more bag. Ooh. Ooh. 
Right. This one, um, I just picked up some of these individual packs of Kleenex tissues this week. I just think, I think you get more in these little packs. This this was two pounds for this one. And then you can literally just stick with the um, whole pack in your pocket and just walk around it, so. Like them. I've got a little box of Yorkshire tea bags. I do like to buy the big boxes, but I've literally got nowhere to store them, so. Just a little box will do me. We don't drink that much tea anyway, so. Yeah, I just got one pack of the milk chocolate malted milks. Yes, Morrison's have got the milk chocolate malted milk. I haven't seen these in Morrison's for years, so. <laughs> See how I get excited about that. Um, I've got some of the lifelong semi-skim milk. There's less than 2% fat. Just easy enough just to pop on the, um, in the cupboard, sorry, and then get it out when we need it, pop it in the fridge. I've got some crushed. <laughs> nah, these are all right. Matthew's got some zip seal food and freezer bags in medium. That must be for his jerky. Got some Christmas week, I picked up the Royster's T-Bone Steak Bubble Chips. And some of the salt and vinegar chip sticks. So six in a bag. Snack-wise, um, got these nougat whips, which are just basically like um, Milky Ways. So just the Morrison's ones. And then I've got Matthew's some Kit Kat Chunkies Caramel. They gave me one of these again. I don't know whether I'm going to bother with this more card because... Yeah, I don't really go in there that often. I've got some Femme Fresh Intimate Skincare Daily Wipes. A dark Brown Soft Silver Spoon Sugar. So this will be for his jerky. Oh, this was this was a brilliant find. So in the reduced bit, right at the back of the shop, um, these are the Fairy Fresh In Wash Scent Boosters. So they were five pounds and they were reduced to two pound fifty. Look at that. Literally there's a little tiny tiny hole in the top and that is full. So they've literally just put a bit of uh, tape over it. So that is my bargain of the day, even though the shopping cost a bloody arm and a leg. I've got a tiny bottle of extra virgin olive oil because the olive oil in Morrison's was ridiculous and I thought if I'm gonna go back to Aldi next week. This is gonna do us. I mean, this this will do us for a few weeks, just this little bottle. So, just picked up a tiny one. I think that was two pound 20 something, which I think is about the same price as the Aldi's big bottle. Um, for the jerky again, Matthew got this Maggie liquid seasoning, which we think is the same as liquid smoke, because we got liquid smoke before, because he did try to make beef jerky before in the oven, it didn't turn out very good, um, because it was the oven, it's not like a, a dehydrator. So yeah, we just got some of that. Um, I got some green jalapenos for our, uh, our little Mexican dish, and some lightly salted, Tortilla chips, these are just the Aldi ones. I haven't gone to like Doritos or anything because I'm going to be putting like cheese and stuff on them anyway. Something's wet. Not sure what. But yeah. Honeydew melon. Um, I think I said lemon. That's what Isabel used to call them. Honeydew lemons. <laughs> yeah, I've got one of them. Um, a tin of baked beans in tomato sauce. Just the Morrison's beans. A jar of the chunky salsa by santa maria um that's just the medium spiced one and then these one off of these um i think these are new thatcher's you all right rocky i don't know what he's doing in there the thatcher's blood orange cider sweet and juicy made with uh, blood orange so we're going to put these in the fridge and have a nice cold cider in a minute. It's 10 to 5 now, so by the time these are chilled, it will be time to have a little drinky poo. So I think they were two, were they two for £10? Two for £10, yeah. Two for £10, so we're going to have some of them in a bit. They sound amazing. 
and last thing is some organic garlic for Matthew's little experimento. Um, right, so this is the receipt. It's a bit of a long one. Um, does it say how many items are on here? Because I know the um, Aldi one doesn't. don't think it does. So, this came to £164.67. I nearly passed out when I heard that. But, oh, you see that there? But as I said, Matthew's doing his whole jerky thing. So we've got these extra things to make it again next time. Because you have to buy all like, the spices and whatnot to go with it. Um, and then I also did get some of my mum's shopping as well. So that's why it came to so much. It was, uh, I mean, my mum wanted some scallops and they were £7.50. She absolutely loves them. And a bottle of wine that was seven pound twenty-five. It's quite expensive taste, my mum. Yeah, that is the end of my shopping haul. Let me know what you think. Um, I do think I spent a lot of money, and um, I'm looking forward to going back to Wildy next week. I think it took me a long time to go around there as well because I wasn't. I'm not. I'm. I'm used to the shop, but not getting a full shop in there. Um, I'm used to going around Aldi, so yeah, everything is just so expensive. But you know, there's a lot of things in here that I do normally get from Aldi. And I will probably check the, the prices. I'm going to try and put the prices of all the items actually on this video. So then you can actually see yourself how much everything costs. So I will do that when I um, edit this vlog. And um, yeah, I will let you know. So, yeah, I'm off now. I really, really need a cold drink. I'm absolutely boring. I don't know if you can tell, but I've got a bit of a dab on. So I'm going to get all of this away, have a nice cold drink, and help Matthew with what he's doing in the living room. So if you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give me a thumbs up anyway, because it really helps me out. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell just to let you know every time I upload a video. And leave me in, leave me in, leave me a comment in the comments box below. I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.